Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you three plants that I really like and I think are easy candidates for those people who would like to get into plants and don't know if they have a green thumb. So please stay tuned. Today I'm going to highlight a couple of my favorite plants. I do really love this time of year. My jungle is back in the house. During the summer, I have my indoor plants outside, around my pond, on my front porch, on the back deck. That all leaves my family room quite bare. In Canada, we may not have snow yet, but the frost is probably even more harmful to indoor plants. It's time to bring my jungle back into the house where it's sheltered and warm for the winter. This is my largest aloe vera plant. Aloe vera naturally grows in tropical and subtropical climes all over the world, originating from the Arabian Peninsula. In many places, it is now grown for agricultural and medicinal purposes. There are a wide variety of benefits this plant provides. When you hear the word aloe, it makes you think of sunburns, facial masks, beauty treatments, and so much more. It's one of the largest succulents. Succulents are plants that store water in their thick, fleshy leaves. The gel in the leaves is easily extracted to use right from the plant, most commonly used for burns. It's really a benefit to have an aloe vera plant just for that simple purpose in your home. With the size of this plant and the weight of the water contained within, it is a must to be planted in a very heavy, deep pot. When you find you have a leaf bent like this or broken off, they root very easily if you just stick that part in soil. I have grown many, many aloe vera plants simply by doing this. Now here you can see the babies that are growing up from beneath mama. I usually let them grow there until they're nice and big and then I will repot her and pull them off and put them in their own little pots. The Dracaena is a shrub that originates in tropical Africa. Since the 1900s it's been a favorite in homes across Europe. The Dracaena goes by a few different names, such as the corn plant, because the leaves resemble corn stalk leaves. Also, the happy plant, mass cane, and even false palm, but all are species of the dragon tree. I picked this plant up quite a while ago when he was only about eight inches tall. He's done very well considering he's categorized as a slow grower. I keep him in the house around my indoor pond tubs. It's important to set this plant away from direct sunlight. In fact, across the room from a window will be all the light they need. They will suffer sunburn if exposed to too much sunlight. They prefer a warm, humid environment. Around my ponds, you can imagine it's quite humid naturally, but I still spray their leaves with fresh water a couple times a week. The Drusina is a very easy plant to care for. It's a great plant for people who are not convinced they have a green thumb and want to try to get into some plant decor. This one will surely enhance any room. Everyone will recognize this plant, the beloved spider plant. Other names you may hear them called are airplane plant, ribbon plant, St. Bernard's lily, and spider ivy. This plant originates from southern Africa, preferring warm temperatures and humid environments, flourishing at a steady temperature of between 20 and 24 degrees Celsius. They will survive temperatures as low as 10 degrees Celsius, at which point they go dormant, but nothing below that. This elegant plant is a favorite among plant lovers due to their beautiful appearance, adaptability, and easy care. I have a number of them. All of my baby spider plants are from one original plant. Now this plant here has lots of shoots, but they're still flowering. 
over here, I have a large spider that is just loaded with spider pups. They produce all on their own, needing no additional care or help from you. Keeping them on a once a week watering schedule is all you need to do. I do spray the leaves, giving them moisture to draw on. These smaller spider plants on the shelf here are pups that I have grown from the little ones hanging off mum. It really is a great starter plant if you're interested in plants at all. I have lots of plants and I love the plants for so many reasons. One of the biggest reasons is of course their beauty and how it makes me feel so live and vibrant when I have life surrounding me every single day. But plants give so much more. They are healthy for the environment, they clean the air, they reduce noise levels, they improve mental health, they give your immune system a boost, they improve productivity, they help with learning disabilities. I could just go on and on. Plants are a vibrant part of this world we live in. Bring them into your world too. So until next time. This is Deb Tim signing out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.